Hello, this video is part of a series of resources for Texas property owners. My name is Pat O'Connor with O'Connor & Associates and the topic for today's video is one of my favorites. It's how to get the appraisal district's evidence and use it against them. So the tax code requires that if you request the appraisal district's evidence more than 14 days ahead of the hearing, they have to give it to you at least 14 days before the hearing or they can't use the information at the hearing. So we're going to talk about how to request their evidence, how to get their evidence, and then finally how to use it at the hearing. So how to request their evidence is simple. Send a one or two sentence letter, just address it to the chief appraiser at the appraisal district, and in the body of the letter can be one sentence that says, uh, with regard to account number such and such, which was protested for tax year 2017, please send me any evidence you plan to use at the hearing. And perhaps you want to mention the address just to make it clear. So that's all you have to do to request the information. Just send a short letter in the mail. And then secondly, you'll go by the appraisal district to pick it up. Now some appraisal districts have the information online and while I've had differences in sometimes with HCAD, this is an area where Harris County Appraisal District does a nice job of putting the information online for taxpayers whether they request the information or not. So kudos to HCAD for being taxpayer friendly in this regard. Some appraisal districts though play ridiculous and outrageous games such as requesting $25 for three or four copies of three or four pages of information. This is completely outrageous and bogus, and there's no basis for doing it. So if you run into one of these appraisal districts, we have a workaround. So what you do is just take your smartphone and they go, oh, it's gonna be $25. Say, well, I'd like to inspect the information first and I'll decide if I want a copy or not. And then using your smartphone in a program like Turbo Scanner or Scanner Pro, just or an app like those, just take photos using your smartphone of the evidence and say, thanks, um, I've seen all I need to see, I don't need a copy. So you've gotten the information at no cost, but you did have to make a trip to the appraisal district, but now you have the evidence and all the evidence they're allowed to use at the hearing. So study the comparable sales, see if they produce evidence on both market value and unequal appraisal, and for the comparable sales, pick the comparable sales that will be helpful. And there are almost always some comparable sales that will be helpful. If the appraisal district left out some information, for example, if they didn't provide evidence on market value or on unequal appraisal, you win by default. Because the law is that the appraisal review board shall rule in favor of the property owner unless the appraisal district pr proves their case based on a preponderance of the evidence. And if they have no evidence and you have some evidence, you win. So requesting this information is a great way to get the information for the sales in your neighborhood, help you to prepare for the hearing, and it also limits what the appraisal district can present at the hearing. For more tips, or for to check and see if your property is fairly taxed, go to the Texas Property Tax Fairness Checker at CutMyTaxes.com. It's free, requires no personal information, and takes less than a minute, and you'll find out almost instantly if you are fairly taxed or not. And you can go, it's at CutMyTaxes.com, that's CutMyTaxes.com. This is Pat O'Connor with O'Connor Associates. Best wishes for your protest this year, and we'll be back soon with another tip on property taxes.